Let's talk about Loftia. Loftia is an upcoming cozy MMO with a super cute art style and unique gameplay that's currently in development and it has an active Kickstarter right now. I first saw this game in the Wholesome Direct in June, but I really checked it out when a friend messaged me saying she'd love to see me cover it. So thank you for the recommendation because I am indeed very excited and I can't wait to share it all with you. So let's take a look at the unique elements of this life sim that promised to make Loftia a great experience. Loftia is based around solarpunk, a sci-fi subgenre that is community-oriented and focused on conservationism and living sustainably in a modern slash future world. Already, they've sold me with this idea, as environmentalism has always been close to my heart. I was unfamiliar with solarpunk as a name, but it's everything I've ever wanted in sustainable living, and I'm excited to explore it in this game. Additionally, Solarpunk being the core of Loftia's gameplay means that it'll be a fresh take on the life sim genre, especially farming. Learn about true sustainable living with hydroponic farms, wind turbines, and solar panels. The developers did a lot of real-world research on these, including traveling to a solar and wind farm to learn more. Due to the nature of all these sustainable themes, gardening isn't standalone in this game, which I love. In farming sims, what you do or don't do on your farm largely doesn't matter to the rest of the town. But in Loftia, your farming is an integral part of the entire community, helping to build a better future for everyone. It's more than just a means to make money. What you do and how you do it matters in Loftia. I just love this entire theme of building a community together. I mean, that's what MMOs are all about, right? I don't want to feel alone in an MMO, I want to feel like I'm actually part of something. I've made some great friends and memories through other MMOs, especially Elder Scrolls Online, and I'm excited to do so in a game that's centered around the theme of community. In this vein, the Loftia team has spoken a little about community events in the game, and I'm definitely excited for them. There are already plans for community projects where the entire server works together to accomplish a goal or restore an area. And I love the sound of this. And if you want something more low-key, Loftia will feature unique community spaces like a study cafe, where you can hang out with friends while each doing your own work. I have a feeling that I'm going to be utilizing this a lot when I'm editing videos. Additionally, Loftia's ideals about community don't exist just in-game. They've created a great, fun, and welcoming Discord community and host lots of unique events like bingo nights, coloring hangouts, and study sessions. I love these! It was so much fun to learn early Loftia trivia through bingo, and co-working sessions is just what my ADHD brain needs sometimes. Okay. Most of the time. I love that Loftia is providing these gently productive spaces both in and out of the game. Oh, and they're currently running a fan art contest, so get in the Discord if you haven't already. Link is down below. We'll see if I manage to finish my entry in time, but it's a secret for now. Okay, all of these things are great, but let's talk about one of the things I'm especially excited about. Pets. They have so many different pets planned, from the common pets like dogs and cats, to ducks and capybaras. And Loftia's art style is already cute, which I love, but the animals are super cute. You'll be able to dress them up, take them around town, and own as many as you want. I'm definitely going to collect them all, starting with the two Kickstarter exclusives. I love collecting pets and mounts in MMOs, and Loftia is already starting off strong in this regard, with even more species of pets to be revealed in time. All right, it's time to talk about the big one. The thing I'm most excited about. And if you're familiar with my content, this should be no surprise. Housing. Living in Loftia comes with your own house to decorate how you want. And with the game's cute art style, I can't wait to make my Loftian space so pink and cozy. The devs have previewed some furniture themes already, including goth and cyberpunk, and have been gathering more suggestions in the Discord. Personally, I'd love to see dark academia themed furniture sets so I'm holding out hope for that. But we all know, as long as you give me plenty of plants to decorate with, I'll be happy. Plus, I'm getting the bioluminescent furniture pack from the Kickstarter, so I'll already have some great themed furniture at the start. Thanks to making a Kickstarter goal early on, Loftia will be expanding the community aspect to housing too, if you want. 
You can share a house with a partner or a friend and decorate together, both having all permissions to make the perfect cohabiting space. Additionally, a stretch goal for club housing was just unlocked. Similar to guild halls and other MMOs, you'll have a space to gather with friends and decorate together. I'm so excited to see how this comes together when the game releases. Doesn't all of this sound amazing? If you're interested in getting the game for a discounted price, head over to their Kickstarter to see what rewards you can get for supporting its development. Personally, the rewards were so good that I increased my pledge from what I'd initially planned. But I'm just so excited for it all. And look at the amazing stretch goals they've already met. Aquaponics, Relic Collection, Club Housing, and more. And there are still more exciting goals to reach for. I am personally hoping we hit the goals for Animal Conservationist and more biomes. But regardless, everything they've shown us and planned for already looks to be amazing, and I can't wait to start playing when it's ready for Alpha next year. What do you think? Are you excited for this cozy MMO? Are there features you'd love to see that haven't been mentioned yet? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button to see more about cozy sim games when I post videos. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful, magical day.